In my elementary school days, I was never one of the brightest students in class. <laughs> Neither was I one of the well-behaved students anyway, but despite my shortcomings, my mom loved me. Can you imagine I once came to of that of 50 in my class and my mom gave me a nice treat with a meal containing the head of a chicken. Back then that was lovely, though I knew I didn't deserve it, but guess what? A mother's love always comes with a lot of compromises. Now I want you to know that compromise is an act which you must utilize in this festive period because to be plain and simple, you can't have it all. Actually you can but there will always be a big consequences if you do. So eating compromises is something I encourage my weight loss clients to do once in a while because it really helps them to think about their choices before they compromise and it also leads to a balanced lifestyle. So to make it easier for you to understand, here are a few diet compromises some of my weight loss clients came up with. So feel free to add yours and adjust accordingly. So you can say something like, at work, I will maintain my food and snacks as usual, except on the last day when I will have one to two junks. If I'm going to eat out during Christmas, I will eat one course and have alcohol, or I will eat two courses and have no alcohol. When I'm attending a buffet, I will have one plate of food only. I won't eat after I've been drinking alcohol. If I have a week of social engagement, I will only drink by 2 p.m. When I'm at home, I will eat as normal, except Christmas day, when I will raid the entire kitchen. I will only take one junk a day, under the condition that I must have achieved my step target for that day. I will only eat something if it's really worth it. So I'll be holding myself back unless the junk is worth it. These are personal choices of others. But hopefully it has given you an idea of how to work out some of your festive diet compromises. So here is your task for this lesson. Pick one to four of your own compromises and write them down. Then paste it where you can see it daily alongside the list you made on lesson one. If you haven't done that yet, then you have some work to do. So, with all these festive diet compromises, how do you help yourself stay in control of what you eat over this festive period? Do you know how to do that? In the next lesson, I will teach you how to stay in control of what you eat this festive period. But first, make sure you like this video, share your festive compromise plan in the comments below, subscribe to this YouTube channel with the bell notification turned on, and click here to watch the next lesson.